So welcome back to the Code Circus. Today we are going to talk about adding in proximity boxes around our objects that we had created uh, in the last lesson. And normally we can't see these boxes, they're hidden, but we're going to add in a debug mode that allows us to see the boxes and see how they react to our character walking into them. So let's dive right into some code. And last we left off, we had our avatars setting up our states. That was the last line of our last project. Now we're just going to continue right from there. And we're going to add in our first sensor. We're going to call it the plant sensor. And we're going to use viz proximity dot sensor to do that. And I need to put something there for the sensor to, to know how big this space is. So I'm going to do a viz proximity box. Now, it doesn't have to be a box. It could be a circle area. It could be some kind of composite shape that we build. But we're going to do a box just because it's pretty straightforward. And I'm going to put in a size of the box. And we're going to do 4 by 5 by 5. And then we got to center the box somewhere. Oops. 0, 2.5, comma, 0. And that's all relative to my plant. OK, so now I have to say. Um, what the source of that is, of that sensor. And that's going to be the plant that we had put in in the other lesson. OK, so now we have our sensor created. No red line, so our code is good. Next thing we have to do is add in a target for our proximity to um, link with. And that's going to be the main view. Doesn't have to be the main view, but in this case, that makes the most sense. Because that's what we have moving around in the world. If we had some other avatar we were controlling, maybe we would make it that avatar. OK, so now we have our target set up. Um, now we need to create some way of handling uh, all of the different things that are going to go on with our sensors, we need to put in a manager. This is going to do all of the heavy lifting for us. So we have our manager in. And we're going to have to now add our sensor. That we created called plant sensor to our manager. So our manager knows that we have a sensor. And then we also have to add the target to the manager. Manager can't manage what it doesn't know about. OK, so we've added everything there. Everything looks good so far. Now the last piece is we're going to turn on this. Um, Viz act key down event. We're going to use the D key. And when we press the D key, we're going to tell the manager to go to debug mode. That's going to show us the actual boxes in space. So normally we wouldn't leave this in the game because we don't want the players to see the box. But for us, so we can see it actually happen and interact. We want to put in that debug box. So let's go over this again. We needed the plant sensor. We needed to set the target to the main view. We needed to create a manager to handle everything. And then we needed to tell the manager where everything was. Uh, and then finally, we set the manager to debug mode. Hopefully, we got all of that correct. And now, when I go and look, we can see that I can toggle that debug mode on and off to my plant. 
And not only that, when I walk into the space, it turns green. So we can see that the sensor is actually detecting my presence when I walk into that space, which is great. That's exactly what I want it to happen. Walk into the space, turns green. So that's perfect. So now let's add in some other things, right? Let's add in some more of our objects in space. So we're going to need some more sensors. Uh, we're going to do one for the crates. There's our crate sensor. Um, oops, I think I, I copy something wrong. Let me do that again. Yeah, I got too much. Here we go. I copied the line above it. So there's our crate sensor. Same shape, same kind of thing, just a different um, thing. And it's going to be linked to crate one. Um, but we could have linked it we could have put a, a sensor around every single one crate, every single crate, but we don't really need to. We're just going to put it around one of the crates. Then we're going to do this cafe sensor that I'm creating here, which is basically going to be an open space sensor with nothing in it. There's not going to be an object as a source. So it starts out the same. We set up a box, but the source is a little different. The source is this matrix, and we're giving it its translation and that gives us it as its location that translation it really kind of is its location in space so where is it kind of like its center um, and then we have our box that is going to go around it and it will just basically go around wherever that center is located at in space so that's how we do an empty sensor let's add in our avatar sensors do all three of those in one shot because they're all going to be the same. Avatar 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Then as we go down, we remember that we had our target is our main view. We had to create our manager, but then we also now have to add in all of our other sensors to the manager. one shot we added our target to the manager and then as we we still have our debug mode that we can toggle on and off so let's hit play and now when I hit debug mode I can see the fields around every object that I put it there if we look over here there's my cafe that I set up I can kind of just walk into the space and so know when I'm into that space sometimes that's useful in games Here's another one, another one, another one, and then the last one. Okay, and then this, remember, this is only around crate one. Even though all the other crates are here, we really only put the box around crate one. Okay, so that is putting the sensors in. Now the sensors react to our character walking in that space by lighting up green, so that means the back end is working. Now we have to tell Vizard what to do when we actually enter into those sensors. We're going to have to add in some kind of event handler. We've done that before. We've done it with tasks. We've done it with callback events. So we're going to do something similar in um, our next section to talk about how to make our characters actually react when we walk into their proximity space. So that's it for today. I will see you next time.